So some is just around the corner and many of you are probably looking for cool new styles to get you through the coming months. Before you go rushing off the high street to try and find them, I recommend looking into the back of your wardrobe and see if there's any old pieces that you might not wear anymore that you could probably give new life to and you can do that through upstyling. To show you that it's possible to salvage some pieces that you thought would never see the summer sun again, I've been set a challenge by eBay to take old bits from the back of my wardrobe, give them a whole new life, save some cash that I can be spending on summer holidays and music festivals. So today we're here to get some inspiration, so let's take it to the high street. Oh, I love the colour on this one. So I'll probably try and maybe attach a collar of some sort, try and find some old vintage collars on eBay. I spotted some the other day and attach it onto a shirt. Okay, so this is another thing that you can do that's really easy to upstyle fringing. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. You can add fringing onto hemlines, cuffs, collars, shoulders, jackets, everything, bags. It's brilliant. Okay, so lace is everywhere as well. It was all over the catwalks for spring summer 2011. Chanel, Celine, Sal McCartney. So this is a really big trend right now. Just because I'm a total magpie, I just spotted these out of the corner of my eye and I'm definitely going to be searching on eBay to see if I find some jewels that I can add on to that upcycle shirt as well. So we're in the shops, I saw lots of different colours. There's some lace ones, some Peter Pan ones. I really quite like the lace idea because there's lace all over the catwalks at the moment for spring, summer. When I was going through the shops, I had saved a few searches, so I'm just going to have a look through them now and see which ones that I prefer. So we had a vintage Annesby lace collar that was really, really nice. I'm not sure it's going to fit on the top properly though, so I'm thinking about maybe making my own collar. So I actually put a bid on some long white fringing, but I was actually outbid and got a notification to say that I was. So now I'm just going to go on and buy it because I really, really want to get my hands on it. In the shop as well, I saw some amazing brooches, but I'm going to do a little search again to see if I find ones that are a bit cheaper. Oh, there's one here that's actually really great. It's only nine euro, and the other ones that we saw were about 50, so it's gonna make a big difference, and it's gonna give the piece that really vintage feel that I wanted to have with the lace. Okay, so all my bits arrived today, so I'm really excited about it. So I got some gorgeous, that was the fringing that I bought on a Buy It Now, which is cool. I'm really happy I got that. Um, I also got that lovely brooch that was only nine euro as well, that was cool, because it's a vintage piece, so it's gonna look brilliant. And then the other thing that I'm very excited about is the lace that we got. So we got this really long piece of vintage lace that's amazing and it's going to look really cool and it has this kind of bit here that's going to look perfect for the collar. So with all that what I'm going to do is take a plain white top. So we're going to put loads of fringing on the edges, fringing along the arms, we're going to tie in some of the beads from the necklaces. The other thing that I'm going to do with the lace as well is take this stripy bodysuit also destined for the charity shop I'm ashamed to say and this is going to get a lovely lace collar bit kind of on it like this I'm going to put some ribbon and some buttons down and I'm going to attach the brooch on to give that real lace vintage feel it's kind of almost like Chanel resort so that's the style that we're going for with that I am the reverend have it proof that you can breathe new life into old things in the back of your wardrobe and make them on trend again. Job done.